Mobile operators are choosing virtualized RAN because of the major benefits to their network. Operators are looking for optimized network solutions at optimal cost without being tied to a specific vendor. VRAN is a solution that avoids hardware lock-in as it runs on general purpose or COT servers that can be customized based on an operator's capacity and deployment requirements. VRAN empowers operators to deploy network upgrades and scaling that support technology and services evolution. With the virtualized solution, network management can be completed remotely with software reducing OPEX or operational expenses. Samsung's VRAN runs on an end-to-end -end common platform shared with other network parts such as the core, management systems, and applications, which reduces hardware, operation, and management costs. Samsung's VRAN is a disaggregated architecture with a separated VDU and VCU, where the VDU sits near the RU and supports real-time processing, including communication between the user and a cell site. The VCU can be placed on-site or remotely and can support multiple VDUs. The VCU includes function blocks related to mobility, RRC, and PDCP. Since a single VCU manages multiple VDUs, handover between VDU cells that are connected to the same VCU is much simpler. As VDUs are distributed at the edge, they can be deployed closer to end users to support low latency services. Samsung's VRAN simplifies deployments as the VDU and VCU enable faster software service deployments with fewer resources. There is no need for hardware changes or deploying personnel, which saves time and, and equipment costs. Operators are moving to cloud-based operation and VRAN provides an automated cycle of provisioning, operation, and optimization for a quick, convenient, near-zero touch operation. The virtualized network can manage physical, virtual, and cloud-based networks and supports multiple cloud services. Virtualized RAN provides operators with flexible network configuration options. With a virtualized solution, operators can flexibly choose different options to expand their network capacity and add the essential functions for each requirement to easily expand their networks. Operators will have increased agility with continuous integration and deployment. As a cloud-native solution, VRAN provides automated deployment and integration on a microservice level. It supports continuous integration and continuous deployment, CI-CD, a methodology that automates building, testing, and deploying software. CI-CD provides operators with near zero time upgrades and virtually no impact on existing network abilities. VRAN enables dynamic scaling as virtualized components can be calibrated as needed, automatically modifying processing power, memory, and connection resources to meet unexpected traffic loads. When spikes in traffic occur, the centralized network can adapt on the fly without manual intervention and direct more resources to the cells with data peaks. During off-peak hours, the same resources can be assigned to support tasks like network analysis and reports or put in power saving mode. Dynamic scaling allows operators to direct processing resources where needed, enabling huge cost savings that could not be done with legacy hardware-based networks. VRAN also allows baseband resources to be pooled together so that resources can be allocated according to network demands. Among cells that share common server resources, cells with increased traffic or number of users can be allotted more server resources and cells with relatively less traffic are provided with less resources. Operators are able to reflect traffic patterns when allocating server resources. Resource pooling provides operators with further cost savings as they don't need to buy hardware designed for peak loads, knowing that the software will adjust as necessary to maintain optimum performance. VRAN's microservice-based architecture provides higher network reliability. Let's look at the figure on the left that shows the various redundancy schemes. As VRAN is deployed as a cloud-native architecture, when a problem occurs with a specific pod, the Kubernetes master recognizes it and sends an alarm to the management pod. Then, according to the various redundancy schemes, network operation can continue without service downtime. For example, the master may order a new pod to be created, activate a standby pod, or order another active pod to take over. 
the figure on the right shows a geographically separated redundant network in a case of emergencies or failures at a specific data center. When there is a problem in one VRAN data center, VRAN that was on standby in another data center becomes active and continues service. Geo redundancy is easily secured through a software based VRAN. In summary, operators are experiencing the major benefits of Samsung's virtualized RAM. Samsung's VRAN supports 4G and 5G simultaneously through a single platform, and it can also provide backward compatibility as other technologies are supported in the near future. In addition, Samsung's VRAN supports interworking with diverse radio products, including radios, massive MIMO radios, and indoor solutions, as well as all of the frequency bands, such as FDD, TDD, low, mid, high band, to provide flexible deployment options. Furthermore, with Samsung's network automation solution, the entire end-to-end -end network, including the VRAN, vCore, and SDN, can be virtualized to enable easier network slicing. Network slicing allows operators to provide different network capabilities and services to specific users using the same physical infrastructure. Each network slice comes with its own service and performance requirements, providing operators a powerful way to differentiate their offering to enterprises and consumers and further monetize their network. Samsung's VRAN can efficiently allocate network functions and radio resources for each separate service on a per-slice basis.